This is a family heirloom that was passed down to me from my father, from his father, from his father, so my great-grandfather. My great-grandfather made this in prison, and we think about 1912. What was he doing in prison? <laughs> he was in prison for second-degree murder. He shot his wife and would, was convicted for 10 to 20 years. Would, would that be your great-great-grandmother? Yes. She was an artist, so she was in the artist community in Spokane, Washington, mm -hmm. and he followed her and he caught her spooning with another man I see. who was his brother. So there was an altercation at the home and she actually pulled a gun out of her dress. He grabbed it from her and he shot her. It happened in 1911. There's articles in the Spokesman Review. You couldn't write this stuff. Truth is stranger than fiction, it, I'll tell it you. It is a, a very bizarre story. This is woven horsehair artwork. Traditionally in the western part of the United States, a lot of penitentiary inmates would do it. They would do it at Deer Lodge, they would do it at Laramie, in the state prisons. This one was done at Walla Walla, where he was. If you look here on this part of the piece, it's got very round, very smooth edges to it. There's, there are mm -hmm. no portions of horsehair which are loose in any way. Mm -hmm. That's the sign of a very good bridle. It takes years to be able to get it that smooth. They're always a little bit scratchy prior to that. He has really nice fittings on it here in that these reverse painted glass rondelles on there. He would have had to trade those. Those were a little bit pricey at the time, but they're definitely worthy of this piece. That one looks a little bit different than that one there. Right, if it's a prison made piece, it's hard to get the rondelles. They yeah. dealt with the material that they had at hand. If you were to grade this artistically, compare it with other ones of the time period, it's a 10 out of a 10. I've had okay. them from other prisons before, no, never mm -hmm. from Walla Walla. So you say he got out of prison within two years? Was that the time frame? Like he it? did. There was no one to take care of the children. So he was pardoned by the governor and was released after almost exactly two years to the day. Have you had it appraised before? Do you? I have not. It's got wonderful color. The story is killer. We're looking at 4000 at auction. That's good. I was thinking it was close to that. Well, thank you.